everybody, it's Ruby here today, and I thought that I would do a book review on Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Now this is a book about a society in our near future, or near future in the 1950s, about people who don't read and are actually banned from reading. So most of the people in this world have TVs and watch a lot of TV and are almost always hooked up to some sort of central radio network that they have in their ear. Um, and anybody who is caught with a book or is caught reading anything that is banned um, is punished severely and has either their books or their house burned down by firefighters. So instead of having firefighters put out fires like they do now, firefighters actually light the fires. And this is where the main character comes in, Guy Montag. He is a firefighter who starts to discover books, and as he's lighting books on fire, he starts to accidentally read them and sort of becomes entranced by them. He meets a 17-year-old girl, Clarice, who starts to ask questions. And considering that people aren't reading anymore and that a lot of culture has sort of been um, mild or watered down, not a lot of people ask certain questions, not a lot of people just go out for strolls, not a lot of people just smell flowers or taste rainwater. And this 17-year-old girl starts to ask questions and starts to engage him in conversations. And after a while, he starts to yearn for more. And so he steals some books and he goes on a wild adventure. Now, I was iffy about this book. It is a book that a lot of people know either by name or have read it in high school. Uh, I wasn't one of those people, but it was definitely recommended to me a couple of times, and I'm not sure why I hadn't read it sooner. This book is definitely for anybody who loves books, anybody who values reading or values thinking or values philosophy or sociology or anything that really comes out of the idea of books. and. A lot of questions come up in this particular book that I think are definitely way before its time, like entertainment that becomes watered down because of so many people watching it, like Hollywood movies, or how much time you should be spending in front of TV screens. Um, but at the same time, although a lot of people use this book as a way of saying, hey, if we continue down this line, we'll become this dystopian culture that never reads anymore, this book also sort of pointed out that reading doesn't always make you happy. It isn't a glorified thing. It's not like suddenly knowledge sort of brings forth this flower. It's just something that people yearn for. And as a result, people are generally happier, happier to have the opportunity, but not always happier to have the books. So it's definitely interesting. And his boss starts quoting to him in, like, in, in books. Like, he starts quoting to him from books. And all of the quotes are against reading. And I just found that incredibly interesting. The book itself, the way it's written, is also pretty incredible. It is quotable many times. I was reading it and I would have to like read out passages to people just because of how amazing it is. Um, and I can understand now why I see quotes by Ray Bradbury everywhere. Like I just thought that maybe everybody loved the book, but I realized that not only is the book quite amazing, but it is written like something that should be quoted all the time, you know? I don't really have any qualms against this book. I feel like it's a short, sweet sort of seminar type book to sort of talk to you about reading and the love of reading. Um, I do think that there's some parts of the plot and some action parts that I feel were not necessary. And the ending, although quite interesting, I find to be almost out of place. But I mean, it is like 150 pages. It is a short, sweet read, and I absolutely loved it. I feel like all I'm doing right now is just reviewing books I love, but I'm just coming across so many books that I absolutely do love. So I would definitely recommend this book. I would recommend it to anybody who watches booktube videos, even people who read more like young adults or maybe don't like sci-fi as much. Um, I find that this isn't necessarily about technology or about dystopian worlds and more just about the culture behind it, so more of soft sci-fi. So even if maybe you don't like the genre very much, it would definitely be a book that would appeal to a lot of people. I hope you guys liked that review. I would definitely recommend this book and read it 
read it as soon as you watch this video. And um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.